Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here, I'm going to show you how to get the Royal Signet Ring as well as the Dagger of Simakis, if you haven't already gotten it, uh, in Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. So right now I am in the town of Mornhold, which is part of the Tribunal expansion pack, and I am standing in the Royal Palace throne room. Now it is worth mentioning this guy right here, King Halal Helseth, he's also the person you get the Royal Signet Ring from. He does not spawn until you're about halfway through the uh, the main quest of the game, and I'm pretty sure, or the main quest of Tribunal, and I'm pretty sure you have to do a, a couple of the Royal Palace side quests, which uh, are given to you by this guy over here, Tinius Delatan, uh, in order to get him to spawn. Once you get him to spawn, you can get the Royal Signet Ring at any point that you want by killing him. Uh, the only way to get this ring in the entire game is to kill him. Now, it is worth mentioning, you will have to take out his entire throne room, uh, as well as him, which we're going to do right now. And as you can see, they have, uh, these enemies are quite difficult. They have a, uh, a reflect. Few of them do anyway. So we have to take that into consideration. And they also have a, uh, well, one of them has a stun. Paralyzed, rather, not a stun. And I am playing on the easiest difficulty right now because I don't want to spend too much of your time uh, with each video here. But that should give you an idea of how difficult this is to do this on like a harder difficulty. Most of the damage I'm taking, though, is from my uh, weapon reflecting everything back onto me. Once my weapon runs out of charge, though, it should be a relatively easier. So we're going to have to use a potion real fast. As you can see, this is quite, uh, even on the easiest difficulty, it is quite difficult. A few pieces of my armor actually broke, which is quite uh, cute. Interesting. This guy right here, he drops uh, the long sword he's using. You actually get that from completing a quest. But uh, this right here, you also get this grave digger. It's a very, very, very good uh, long sword, as well as a monster truck. And you know, also, you can get royal guard armor from all of these guys too. So now that we're finally just me and King Helseth, we have to kill him in order to get the uh, ring from him. He also gives, I think, Dagger of Samakis, which, uh, if you haven't completed that quest yet. So, uh, there's the Royal Signet Ring. There's the, the ring that we've gone far and wide for. And you'll also notice that it says, uh, with this character's death, the threat of prophecy is severed, that, uh, we've created a doomed world. This is just for the expansion pack. It won't affect anything else outside of this expansion pack. Look, we even killed him while he was, uh, he has his mouth open. I thought he was smiling. Uh... But anyway, that's really all there is to it. Um, it's going to be really, really difficult to get this ring if you're not playing on, like, one of the easier difficulties. Also, uh, it might be easier if you can take out the guards one by one through taunting them, but still, it's it's going to be quite a bit of a challenge, as you've seen. It, uh, it was not easy to kill this entire room. Uh, but as for the Royal Signet Ring, as you can tell by looking at it, it's one of the best rings. Well, 
sorry, it is the best ring in the entire game. 100% chance to reflect everything that comes at you. 100% uh, magic resist, 100% paralysis resist, and then it also gives you 10 health and 10 fatigue every second on self. So it virtually makes you unkillable for the most part. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Hopefully it explained some things. Hopefully you got a kick out of me killing myself with my weapon and uh, proccing it on myself. That's a very good example of why you don't want to use um, cast on strike enchantments in this game. Too many enemies come with reflect. And uh, you end up killing yourself more than you end up killing them. That was a lesson learned after I played this character though. But that's really all there is to it. Again, if the video helped you out, please leave me a like because it helps me out. And aside from that, I will catch you guys around in future Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind videos. Peace.